a corporate dominance in which the very thought that short-term corporate profits should take precedence over our safety, our health, and our well-being. That those economic ideas, soulless as they are, should take precedence over the will of the people to the point that in the last 50 years, there has been a transfer of wealth to the tune of $50 trillion. And it has ravaged American middle class. In the 1970s, the average American worker could afford a home and could afford a house and could afford a yearly vacation and could afford a, a car and could afford one parent to stay home and could afford to send their kids to college. But as soon as they started with this trickle-down economic paradigm, and as soon as Citizens United Corp uh, Supreme Court decision gave those corporate interests the power to basically buy and sell and turn Washington into a system of legalized bribery, all that money was transferred into the hands of 1% of Americans. At this point, that level of economic injustice has ravaged us. It has ravaged our middle class. It has ravaged our environment. It has put carcinogens in our food, toxins in our air. We don't have universal health care like every other advanced democracy does because of the insurance companies. Over a million people in the United States ration their insulin. You don't have that in any other advanced democracy because they have universal health care, but all that because of the greed of the pharmaceutical companies. Look what has happened to Iowa because of the greed of big agriculture and big food companies and big banks. I don't need to tell you, there is no state in this country that is not experiencing the ravages of an old way of doing things and the possibilities of something new. But if we are going to have something new, it's not going to happen because we keep electing those from the old. The idea that the only people qualified to drive us out of this ditch are people who know how to maintain and perpetuate the system that drove us into this ditch is increasingly absurd. My qualifications are not that I've spent years learning how to maintain and perpetuate that system. My qualification is that I know a few things about how to disrupt an unjust system. And that is what we need. We need the American people, particularly the Democrats among us, to become independent enough thinking that we are not just living with this codependent acquiescence to whatever the DNC says. We must remember what George Washington said about political parties, that they could tempt us to become more loyal to our faction than to our country. It is time for us to begin again. The alleviation of stress is not enough. We need fundamental economic reform. We need the things that are actually considered moderate positions in every other advanced democracy. We need universal health care. They'll tell you we don't have it because it's complicated. I'm telling you, we don't have it because it's